Today, we're going to discuss an interesting research paper titled Short-Term Momentum and Reversals in Large Stocks by Jason Jenshun Wei and Lian Yang. This study explores the coexistence of momentum and reversals among large-cap stocks over a holding period of up to six months, and it presents some novel findings that challenge existing theories in the field. Using data from stocks traded on the NYSE, AMEX, and NASDAQ between 1964 and 2009, the researchers found that while momentum prevails among small-cap stocks, large-cap stocks exhibit a different behavior. Specifically, they discovered that large-cap, low-end volatility stocks display reversals, while large-cap, high-volatility stocks experience momentum. This finding contrasts significantly with the existing literature, which typically documents and explains momentum and reversals across different time horizons, but not their simultaneous coexistence within the same asset class and holding period. The study makes two significant contributions to the field. One, fresh empirical evidence. It offers new empirical findings or cross-sectional return predictability, challenging the traditional view that momentum and reversals occur sequentially. Two, theoretical challenge. The simultaneous coexistence of momentum and reversals among large-cap stocks poses a challenge to existing theoretical paradigms that are tailored to explain the sequential occurrence of these phenomena. The researchers provide valuable insights into why large stocks generally demonstrate no or weak short-term momentum. They propose a theoretical model based on moderated confidence to rationalize the empirical findings where underreaction and overreaction can occur simultaneously among investors. In conclusion, the study, Short-Term Momentum and Reversals in Large Stocks by Jason Jianshun Wei and Li Yan Yang, offers valuable insights into the behavior of large-cap stocks over a short-term holding period. It presents a unique empirical regularity that challenges existing theories and proposes a new theoretical model to explain the observed phenomena. The research contributes to a better understanding of cross-sectional return predictability and encourages further exploration in this area. That's all for today, folks. If you found this discussion interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on quantitative strategies and market trends.